Have your black coffee. I'm having with uh, Coke. Captain's log. Almost as good. Six one four seven point four. We're orbiting planet Taurus two in the Murasaki three one two nebula. Our orders: investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. I'm going to try and suppress as much of the uh, tutorial pops as I can. But there's my character on the bridge of a Pioneer class uh, utility cruiser. Looks very much like the bridge of the Enterprise from the original series. But it's not Kirk. So I'm going to talk to Captain Garrett. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. We need to get boots on the ground. Find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. I'm not sh I'll beam down right away, sir. No oh. He double tapped. So, he then said, not so fast. Uh, uh, we can't use the uh, transporters due to atmospheric interference. You'll have, uh, need to take a transport craft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Scan the surface, to, uh, and that's my instructions to me. Scan the surface to find the suitable site. So that's that. I'm not sure we've got the sounds set correctly. Voice volume is full. Can we drop the music a little bit? Right. Hopefully. Right, so scanning the surface. So we'll go back to the captain and tell him that we've found the location. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. Uh, there's a good sized clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Hi, sir. On my way. Remember, this is supposed to be a tutorial. Uh, it's not supposed to be difficult. Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Thanks, Tarsi. Uh, what do you know about Taurus 2? Let's... Okay, again, it double tapped. Uh, let's see. M-class planet, barely. Taurians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'll keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which... Uh, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Alright. Wrong way. Let's go with the right way. To... In. We'll grab a phaser from the armory rack. Put it into shooting mode by putting it. Uh, I'm using B, and you've then got a third person shooter as opposed to uh, a click and, uh, uh, and, and press buttons. Right, okay. It's very generous in its aiming bracket, as you can see. Good job, Lieutenant. That should be enough, unless you want more practice. Right. So I'll turn it off that. Holster the weapon and away we go. Off to the shuttle bay. It's not unusual to see people collapsing on the ground down here, which is a bit of a joke, but it's good to see that it's not the case this time. 
Talk to Ensign Myers. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Oh, why's that, Ensign? I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. Uh, I do, but you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight would be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Never doubted it for a second. This is based on... Um, this is supposed to have come after it, uh, original series uh, uh, television episodes story. Um, so we'll board the shuttlecraft. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And we're on our way down. So we'll go talk to uh, sorry, Anson Mark Mears. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Stay alert. They could very well they very well could be. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sounds good. See you there. Right. So we'll put it back in shooter mode because it's <laughs> it's like how I like playing my uh, my games. I don't have to be. I just have got to hold the. Uh, uh, mouse key down the bottom of turn. Oh. Alright, so let's scan the debris. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of our shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Might be a crash shuttle nearby. Let's uh, have a look. There's your crashed shuttle. What's left of it, anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Let's give a hand. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Right, let's agree. Shut it. Shutting down the, the valve. This is where the game actually really shows its age. Uh, it is in the, uh, the ground elements. Oh, thank you. We 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 need to move. Those things, they're out there. What things? Where? Ruining your weight, have they? What do they feed these things? Ugh, never mind. So again, part of the story being told with cutscenes. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. 
Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared. Got distracted and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're lucky to be alive, Doctor. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Doctor Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Agreed. I'll get them. Lead the way. Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters! We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Uh, just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thanks. We'll have a look. There are rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. A phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them some pointers. Works for me. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. Right. Now I need to demonstrate, actually I need to get rid of this first. Uh, the... I'm going to demonstrate the alternative method of shooting, which is alternate mode of shooting, which in this case is a single sniper shot. They're right behind me! We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Agreed. You and Tarsi guard the pass. I'll get uh, the others in cover. Into the ship? But then we'll be trapped. Retreat to the ship? With pleasure! Right. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Hope it's a good one. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! It's convenient that they can actually go into the shuttle bay. Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty... Uh... Commander Scott electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe if there's enough charge left in the batteries? electricity. Right, Ensign. You did it! Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Indeed. So what happened out the there? The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! 
Get the survivors to the shuttle, Tassi and I will rescue the hostages. I was thinking, we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Like thermal breadcrumbs, eh? Good thinking. Right, just need to refresh the screen. That's better. Right. Footsteps, footprints, I mean, not footsteps. Loving the bones on either side. Loving the totem with a. Whoa, there is a big one there. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Not on my watch. There's Tarsi, she's turned up. Turned to the shipwreck. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. things because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons just what are the Klingons doing on Taurus 2 let's find out phases ready phases just in case they're not in the mood for questions looks like they're not in the mood for questions lieutenant Klingon pad, personal, see, personal access data device. Hey, is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience sure. decrypting Klingon My data. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't exactly their strong suit. And voila, one Klingon pad unlocked and ready for your inspection. Nice work, Edinson. Let's have a look. Empire. 
Download the message. Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Agreed. Before more of them show up. Too late. Oh, come on. For some reason it's not letting me shoot. Yeah, it's now letting me shoot again. Obviously it felt obviously it felt I didn't have a line of sight or something. That's a weird uh, sort of uh, situation. The civilians. I'm surprised they didn't get the command directly into the uh, shuttlecraft. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Return to the ship. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Lies. We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roll. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Couldn't have done it without you, Ensign. Thanks. Not the most Vulcan thing to say. Yeah, so it's somewhat ancient uh, by the time of the main game. We have some uninvited guests, 140 Lieutenant. 140 years. We've been the Klingons have breached oh, the hull right. on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. I sir. Oh, I'm going to wait until the ads are over. There's a minute on the ads. Sorry about this. The ads are a pain. Thirty seconds left. Thank you. Right, okay, so we've just pressed the button here when uh, the ad started. Uh, we've had Captain Garrett telling us he's got the AI invited to guess, and we're now going to ask for your recommendations. Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. Okay, we'll handle it, sir. I'm 
remembering an old earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Stay here to ask you to help the squad. I'll take care of the lads. Reinitialize fibrous cast on bits. Plasma conduits reinitialize. Auxiliary power. Yeah, destroyed. it's a pain, now isn't clear it? Clear out that armory. The sounds. Are you. Are you saying that. Whoa! Where did you come from? Made with some classic instruments like comb and envelope. Watch out! More the door. The doors, I believe, are actually at least uh, a piece of heavy typing paper being pulled out of an envelope. That's the slight sound the doors make. They got did some fantastic effects with some very low tech. Um, not only for Star Trek, Steam stream stopped playing after all. My stream seems to be going all right. I've got a couple of screens up with it being streamed direct. And I'm not. I've had one that froze. I have to refresh. So I suspect you might have a little on your side. I don't know. Um, Let's talk to me. Is we cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. Let's clear out main engineering now. So our uh, internal sensor shows good engineering deck. Check the power relays to the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. On it, so stand by. Weapon power relays are up okay. and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. I'm showing the stream is that twitch is receiving the stream absolutely fine no drops um no drop frames so yeah you two look after the place up to the bridge yeah i think it is weird twitch I had weird twitch yesterday. I'd gone to the stream. I'd raided the stream, and um, sir, incoming transmission. It kept freezing, uh, ten seconds, and then it'd be fine, and then it'd freeze for another couple of seconds, ten seconds, be fine. Made for a very interesting chat with all the delays adding up. Right. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. I love this guy. He is a, a character lifted straight from the original series. Oh, come on. 
Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. You say that, but that's actually the Klingons I grew up with. Um, it wasn't until um, the Wrath of Khan came in that uh, the Klingons started looking more like the Klingons that we know. And to my mind, the Klingons that they've done for um, Discovery series, they're the ones that look absolutely weird. I can, I've, I've learned to cope with the Wrath of Khan and... Uh, and uh, uh, the next generation Klingons. Yeah, ugly is the word. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Right, so I'm having completed that initial stage of the uh, tutorial, I'm going to equip some of the equipment that they've given me. So I have slightly better. And we've Tarsi has been given to us as permanent crew member. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to take the helm. We then cut out to sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Pug speed. <laughs> Indeed, definitely a dog whistle. Right, okay, Isa, let's go and take out the. Science report coming in now. Satellites are using a triaxilating signal. Strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? I sir, real tragedy. Nice work. One down, one to go. Looks like this one is shielded. I should have shielded the first one. Right. I'm putting more power to the engines so we get there a little bit faster. Thankfully I don't have Scotty screaming the engines can I take it. So we're now within uh, range. I'm going to shift power to weapons and I don't need to do that to be perfectly honest. Answer hail. Can, can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Hold on, Captain. We're on our way. Is it going to allow me? No. It's not going to give me full impulse, so. Oh, it is now. One Thanks for the thing help. On white Our cruiser. engines are offline. Could you transfer some energy and get them started again? Can do, Captain. Stand by. I love the idea of jump starting. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Safe travels, Captain. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Shouldn't you be talking to the Captain, not me? But no worries. Acknowledged. I missed uh... Target 
War Klingon ships detected on long range sensors, sir. Lay in an intercept course. Lock weapons and fire at will. Right. So. Full, full impulse is available. Using that to close the range. Right, the shields are down, so I'm putting That's it. Your head decorate my friends. Our shields are down, so we'll go. Let torpedoes go in. Please. Knowledge Enterprise on route to your position. So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. Upon you and your life. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for your assistance, Mickelberg. Uh, sensors indicate there are no enemy vessels remaining in this sector. Our actions today should deter the Klingons from further acts of piracy in the area, although they uh, are often far from logical in such matters. Thanks to the update, Commander. Safe travels, Mecklenburg. Out. Looks like we're done here, Lieutenant. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm, set a course for Earth Space Dock, Warp Factor 3. Warping out. Screen showing the uh, space dock of this era, and we beam aboard. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? That they are, Tarsi. That they are. Right. Switch it out of uh, shooter mode. I don't think she'd be carrying a sidearm on a um, uh, space dock. And we shall enter the bar area as we've been instructed. Alright. Let's talk to Scotty. The Faces they could have done a little better as far as I'm concerned, but at the same point then they're not gonna get accused of stealing uh people's uh, uh faces. So That was some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar. If you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Ah, must be my imagination then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus too. Right unfriendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears any time soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink and share some caveman tales. Thanks, Lieutenant Commander. I could 
use a good drink. Talk to McCoy. You're going into the lion's den. You'll need a medical officer. I'm going to offer you some free advice. Don't be afraid to listen to the advice of your CMO, Chief Medical Officer, uh, especially when it's followed by the, order, uh, the words "doctor's orders." My experience. Officers in command branch tend to ha get hearing problems in such circumstances. I am an officer in the command branch. I'll keep that in mind, Doctor. You know, it feels like a, this isn't the first time I've given you some advice. Know anything about that? I can't say that I do. Sorry. Hmm. As a Vulcan colleague of mine might say, fascinating. I'll let you get back to it, Lieutenant. Thanks for the help back there on Tor at Taurus. I mentioned it, Doctor. Right, talking to Chekhov. We were in Starfleet Academy together. Class of 2268, yes. I seem to recall an incident involving you, a Rogelian frame, flame rose, and an unfortunate activation of fire suppression systems during one of Professor Tivan's lectures. Very cold, almost like Siberian winters. Made a very uh, sorry, a pretty positive impression on Cadet Winstead, however. Doesn't sound very Vulcan, that response, but no worries. Maybe we have heard of the galaxy on your planet. I understand you were at the helm during the fight with the Klingons, that's some flying. Keep it up, you might get a chance to helm a constitution class. From what I've seen, you're up for the challenge. Thanks, Lieutenant. I hope to get the chance. And Uhura. Lieutenant Uhura of the Starship Enterprise. Leave it to the Klingons to set a trap inside the Mizaki effects. I don't think they'll try anything like that again uh, soon. Be careful though, Klingons tend to hold grudges. Your friend Captain Kor might try to settle the score with you down the road. Good advice, Lieutenant. If he wants a rematch, I'll be ready. Uh, talk to me is... It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the final frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. Same to you, Ensign. Take care. Right. Enter Captain Garrett's office. Right, talk to Captain Garrett. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command. They agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict. But there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, New officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. 